Greetings and welcome to Endzone A World Apart. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really, really excited to play this game for you today. So first of all, this is a sponsored video series. A huge, huge thank you to the, uh, the developers and publishers of this game for sponsoring these videos. And um, as always with my sponsored content, I make sure that I'm allowed to give my real opinion on things because you trust me to do that and be honest with you about how I think about a game so here we go anyway uh this game oh my gosh if you like games like the settler uh not the settlers banished this is like a colony building game with people and buildings and things and crafting chains and survival in a very harsh world I think you'll like it if you like those kind of games. Um, it's got a lot in it. Um, when I first saw this game on Steam, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like Survival The Aftermath. And it kind of does, but it has different mechanics to it. Uh, so it is quite different and it's got a different exploration system. I wasn't really keen on the other one when I played it, but this one is very, very different. So anyway, let's talk about some of the things that are in the game. Uh, let's see, here we go. If we go to a new game, we have three different things. The tutorial is extensive. It will teach you how to play the game, uh, and it's very, very good. This game has so much information. There's like a, um, what do you call it? Kind of like a civilopedia for, for en Enzonopedia, uh, which has all of the directions on what buildings do and how they relate to other buildings and why you need to build them. It's really great. Then we have survival mode. Uh, you can basically choose any settings you want. You can go with kind of easy, normal, advanced, and that changes the, um, the difficulty. As you see, relax and discover, easy game, all the things. And then you can also just, you know, choose your map settings here, re-roll a map, and these show where your colony is, where it's kind of town center. And they have the mountains there and lakes. The mountains, of course, affect uh, the, the routes that your settlers take around, you know, where, when they're transporting goods, that kind of thing, carrying stuff around. And then we have uh, lakes, which influence obviously your water. Uh, because this game has droughts, it has sandstorms, it has irradiated lakes. It's bad times sometimes in this game. Uh, anyway, and then we have a settlement name. We're going to go back real quick and go to scenarios. There are several scenarios. I'm just going to flip through these and you can read them at your leisure. Just go ahead and pause the video as I go through. We have the bet, which is about collecting a certain number of seeds because you only start out with a couple usually uh, at the beginning of a game. And then you have to kind of explore for more. We have bleak times, which is starts with a, a crisis. Uh, the long summer, first, second and third droughts, long droughts. Uh, Garden of Eden, then we have A New Hope, and Hunters and the Hunted. This has raiders. Yes, we have raiders. Uh, Desert Flower, Rainy Season, Survive Highly Contaminated Rain at the end of that one. Shared Suffering for the first toll, second toll, and third toll. Hmm. Rome wasn't built in a day. That's kind of a lengthy game. Uh, and then we're back at the beginning. So this this game has so much in it. Uh, I think that everybody can find something that they like. So we're going to start off in just regular survival mode. I think that's going to be a good start to our game here. And we're going to go with, I think, a normal game. Uh, we can set all of the things here. As we see, um, we have all the things. Random droughts, drought directors. Uh, let's see, what is this? Controls the random incidences of droughts and tries to prevent unfair situations from happening. If you're a fan of RimWorld, you can, uh, you can turn that off and have many unfair situations if that's what you enjoy. We have sandstorms, we have diseases also in our, uh, in our thing. Side missions, number of wildlife herds, raiders, settlers, uh, consumables consumption. I guess you can set that to low, medium, and high. Just leave it on the default for the medium thing. Equipment wear and tear. That's one of the things that's important in this game is that stuff breaks down as you would expect to, like in a normal situation where you have clothes that is, you know, getting holes in it um, and they have to make new stuff, especially radiation protection equipment and things like tools. 
um, number of resources that start normal, clothing, distance to water, medium, all this kind of stuff. And this, um, this protective clothing thing is the stuff they have when they arrive. Now, just as I said, this stuff deteriorates over time, but it does help protect them right as soon as they get to the planet. So, uh, and also you can unlock all the seeds. I think it's fun to find seeds and it's part of the challenge to be able to, to get different ones as you go. So, uh, yeah, I think that's good. So we're going to go normal. Let's choose a map now. Let's see. That's interesting. I kind of would like a bit different. I don't know. Not so many mountains. There's not a lot of clear space around the starting point. Now, what I'm looking for here is I'm kind of like looking where I can put stuff. Now, uh, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but it's nice to have this big open area over here. That's pretty great. Uh, we've got a lot of lakes over there, though. That's not making me delighted. Oh, my. Look at this horrible thing over here. That's awful. Come on, thing. Give me something better. You know what? We're going to go with this. Oh, this is great, actually. This is really great. Uh, but it's nice to also have water dotted around the landscape in case your settlement grows really big and you need it. So, all right. We're going to go with this. Go next. And we are going to choose a proper name for the Catherine of Sky people. We're going to have Skyland. Wait, is that a good thing? I, well, it proves we survived the global catastrophe. So there we go. Let's go into this. All right, we are starting a new game. And we also, that's another thing that's on this loading screen here. We have many ruins around the map and we will talk about those in just a second. All right, so here we are. We have arrived. This Man. looks like a good place to settle. You know what we learned in the end zone? Basic needs come first and foremost. We have to build up a water and food supply and then... Let's build ourselves a new home. Thank you, Riley. Thank you. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and look at what we have here and choose a map orientation. So we do have a grid here. Um, let's see, if we go and click on a building, like a road, we can see that um, we have grid lines. And I kind of like to have those north-south when we're kind of looking at our map here. So let's kind of analyze this map. Oh, this is great. Look at these house ruins over here. So there are certain things that we need to do. Now we can gather scrap from our immediate area with with people just picking stuff up. Um, but for things that are like humongous, like these high rise buildings here, we need to have a salvager come in and get those things. Now let's see, how do we wanna do stuff here? This might be a good location for a forester. It's kind of a weird location for buildings, but maybe housing can go over here. I don't know, or maybe over here. Oh, this is great for housing. Housing here and there's water and we can maybe have some crops down here, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, that's looking good because we want our farm kind of near the water because they have to transport the water, um, just carry it over. And then over here, maybe this will be our industrial sector. That sounds good. And then for wood over there. Okay, that's good. We are already planning all the things right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, the first thing we need to do is get water and that's important. So let us go ahead and place some buildings down. Our first thing is probably going to be a jetty and they basically collect water from a lake. Now you see that green, um, the green tiles there at the head of the building? Those green tiles indicate where a road goes. So they need that area open in order to connect to a road. Initially, we won't have roads, but we're going to build some pretty quickly. Actually, we'll build some right now. Let's go to logistics and get a dirt road. And then we are going to click this. I think, yeah, like maybe like this even, or no, I, we want to have it kind of close. So there, and then I want to put a road around the entire camper here. I think. Okay, so we have our jetty. That's important. Now, if we look at the jetty, we find out that it needs to be, we need to clear the building area, which is important. And we need wood for this. So having said what we said uh, in mind, we want to go to our tasks thing here and gather scrap. Now, I like to gather scrap where I think that I'm going to build stuff. 
as in like I want to build housing here so let's gather this stuff so it gets out of the way it does tell you it said 149 actually let me just can I can I click on the flag I can there we go and it tells you how much is here so it, it tells you how much you can expect to get from this scrap area now it's probably not yeah you can see that it's only gonna pick up like car wrecks and scrap piles there's like a, a dilapidated chair that poor chair over there um, but the big piles need to be cleared by a scrap, um, there's a building, what the heck is it called? A scrap yard, imagine that, simple word like that. <laughs> anyway, so we have a scrap yard, um, and then the other thing that we can do is we can clear some wood. So let's see, where do we want to build stuff? Probably around here. So this is just like kind of a heads up on building stuff let's go ahead and clear from here we're gonna get it anyway because we're gonna get a um we're gonna get to have some cisterns over here to to store this water and actually i probably would want to do that right now so let's go ahead and build a cistern uh, and that can be upgraded later i'm gonna go ahead and build it on this alignment right there and leave room for more because we're gonna need more so this is a very, very important building that we need to get going. Now, another thing that we can do with water is get some, I've got, I've gone ahead also and press play so things can get going. Uh, a fishing hut is kind of good to have. So we're going to put this fishing hut. Can we fit it here? Maybe. No, no. Sad times. Oh, we can fit it there though. What's going on over there? Oh, that's the shore. It's a bit weird there. I see. Can we there? Nope. Okay. Red tiles say no way. I should have put the jetty differently. Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. We can always put it like this side. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is perfect. I kind of want to have it as close to the shore as possible because of uh, just travel time. Just travel time. I'm going to go ahead and put a road as well, connecting all of these things. Because initially, all of our food stores and stuff are going to be stored in our in our little camper van, which is the town center. Uh, it's called a bus wreck. Yes, our little thing. So this is also a place where we can limit supplies. Oh, you see people right now. They're carrying stuff to this area to be stored. And these are our totals at the top here. We have water on the left. Then we have food, wood, scrap, uh, tools radiation protection then we have later we get the stuff in red which is medication cloth metal plastic electronics and coal and coal is created not by mining but by charcoal burning as you probably uh have seen in other games okay let's get our uh road going on here i want to oh that's perfect look at this nice okay so what what's interesting about this game is um you assign tasks for your peeps right now we're gonna assign let's see we want to have at least two builders i think or maybe three and then we'll have two water carriers and one fisher for now and as we're gathering stuff what's gonna happen is people will bring stuff uh to these buildings let's go ahead and go th three times speed for now um, and so people, you see regular people are building, well, I don't know if you see this or not, but they, they do carry this stuff, but only builders can do the construction progress. So you have to assign some builders to a task, otherwise they won't do stuff. All right. So this one, this just needs some scrap. Let's go and check on our scrap, uh, gathering flag. Is that here? Let's see how much we have left. Oh, we still have some left. But people without a job or people who are, I don't know, their job has gotten uh, done for the day, as in, you know, stuff is full or the fields are already harvested. They, on their off time, they go and gather stuff. They move stuff around. Um, and so, and they do these like random gathering tasks that we might have out. So that's kind of an important thing. Okay, so here we have some food. We do have some water, but not a lot. I think I would like to build, let's see, we have a jetty here. So the people working in the workforce of the water uh, stuff are at the water tower. So what we wanna do is maybe we wanna increase that to three and get those people doing their thing. We have one fisher working. And now I want to build a farm. Farms are good. So the farms are kind of interesting. 
They have, um, we're gonna build, let's see, can we see? We have 15, yes, 15. That's what we wanna do here because I calculated kind of the ish optimal area of something that we have called an irrigation plant. So if you look at this, it kind of goes about 15 tiles. Remember the 15 starts at this edge here. Uh, and so if we put this here, we can have square 15 tile farms. Um, so we'll just put this here or 15 ish because this side is a little bit different. But this thing, I'm going to go ahead and pause construction because we don't have plastic yet. And that's an important part of what we need. So we're going to click the gear here and pause it. And it's nice that in the open world, it actually shows you a spinning pause sound like, hey, this is not working. Um, and of course we know about this because we just did it, but uh, it's good if you forget. All right, so we have more roads there and I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, we have, we have fishing going on. We have water uh, being stored. So this is great. What is this? Interesting location. Hmm, that sounds like something we can get with our, um, with our scouts once we get them. Okay, let's see what we got here. Do we have, we have, um, logging going on over here. I said I was going to do logging over there, so I might have cut too many trees, just maybe. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this to, I don't know, here-ish. Or here yeah here ish I think now the next thing is our people are homeless at the moment so I want to build some housing for them so we're gonna start off with we can start with a shelter but we have we need uh, cloth for that so we need to have a um, a tailor shop that can convert or not not just a tailor shop but a salvage shop to convert uh, stuff I'll show you that chain it is, um, okay, we need a recycler and then a tailor's shop, which is right down here. So recycler makes uh, scrap into different things like cloth, metal, and plastic and electronics. And then we have a tailor shop as well. But those buildings, if you see location attractiveness minus two, you don't want to put those near houses. Now let's get some housing going. Um, so we can't build a shelter. That's kind of like the, you know, uh, house all the people thing we want to build cabins but you have to be careful with cabins because when you build a cabin uh, it enables people to reproduce and that sounds like a fun time uh, but you don't always want a lot of uh, people you don't always want that many children because they have to be fed so in a shelter there's no privacy and apparently people need a lot of privacy we do not have exhibitionists in our uh, in our place in our colony uh, so we just need to provide them a nice place to um, do their do their fun things yes anyway uh, so we're gonna build some cabins for now and get those started now these guys they need some wood and some scrap and I want to get those built quickly but I also want to get a, a field built quickly and one thing I would like to show you is the radiation overlay with stuff. Now this changes over time. And as you see, you know, all of this, these radiation symbols are uh, people go around and dig them up and just to make sure that the homes are safe um, and, uh, and they can live in kind of a decontaminated area. Now then water, this is our water uh, soil moisture graph here. So having a farm here seems like a pretty decent idea. It's between the two lakes. There is some aridness over here, so we need to probably not uh, build too many farms in that direction. But right where we uh, started is a, actually a really good start. And if it wasn't, I would have moved the um, this thing because it's not actually built yet, and it's fine. If you do delete a building, I believe you get some resources back. Uh, so that's great. Anyway, let's get our food going cultivated fields let's set that up and I said a 15 by 15 uh, the thing about fields it's kind of a funny thing okay let's go ahead and add one person here to work and we're gonna choose seeds we have a choice of black salsify or we have potatoes so 
I think we're gonna go with potatoes for now. Choose seeds, yes, and oh yes, I forgot to show you that. They have different growing times and different maximum yields. So that's, that's a thing. And we're gonna choose potatoes for now. Eventually you want all the things because we have a thing over here that is about rich food. And the number of, um, yeah, they keep the, the number, large number of foods and types, varied foods, gives our settlers uh, variation in diet and keeps them healthy. So, and here we have here the average radiation of all settlers and the average health of all of them. Okay, let's go a little bit faster and see what's going to go on with stuff here. I think we need to build a salvage yard in this direction. So what I want to do is build maybe another cultivated field here. Let's see. I just want to plan this. Okay, so we can't build this over the hut. But it's okay, we'll just build it on... Oh, we can't build it there either? Huh? Hello? Okay. Okay, there's something here. Ah, this is... We need to get this scrap out of the way, I think. I'm going to set my scrap collectors to go and see if we can just remove this stuff real quick. Because we need to get it out of here. We don't want it. Hello, my cat. Hello. That was a squeak from Emma. Hooray. Just my squeaky girl. All right. We were going to build a lumberjack uh, hut over here as well. So let's go ahead and look at our resources tab and build the Forester's Lodge. Um, and this may not seem like an ideal place to put it, but we have something cool that we can do with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that first. Uh, this button allows you to build it as the next building. So that's cool. Hello, my cat. Oh my goodness, hello. We are chasing rubber bands today. This is fun. We enjoy this. It's so funny. My cat has gone from liking to be played with actively to just, um, well, she just likes stuff thrown for her and she goes and fetches it. It's very cute. Okay, so let's see. Forester's Hut. Let's go and build this, folks. Come on, come on. Go, go. Autosave is happening. Hooray. We love autosave. Uh, all right, so it needs a little bit more scrap and then it can start building. Okay, what do we have here? We need more uh, houses. So let's go ahead and build some of those. Let's build a house. More houses. Housing. All right, cabin. Let's go, go, go. Actually, let's leave that space there because we can build some decorations and that will also improve our people's uh, stuff. Yes, my squeaking kettle. Goodness, we have Emma. Emma is just really wanting to be interacted with today. That's great. Okay, foresters. We have, I think we need to have just one forester for now. We have a very, very limited population. Uh, and until these children grow up, we, yeah, we're going to have some problems going on. Anyway, here we have our uh, people. Let's see, these, oh no, these guys are not planting. But you can't see the people planting this field as well as the crops growing uh, day by day. They grow up bigger and you can harvest things early. Where is that? Oh, yes. Harvest now. Um, but here is, yeah, they just plant when they can plant. Of course, our people do need rest. So they don't plant like 24 seven. All right. So we have water. Let's look at our cistern real quick and see. Okay. It's half full. That's good. Hello, my cat. Greetings. You did not bring the rubber band, so I'm not going to toss it. Can't, can't two things that I yeah, we haven't tossed. Um, now, one thing that we do have is we do have the ability to build a well. So that might actually be a great idea for now to get a little bit of extra water that is not subject to radiation poisoning. At the moment, though, our lake is pretty good. It's providing good water. But I think I would like to build a well. Uh, let's see. Let's get, some, get a well going on here. Actually, you know what the well uh, requires an employee there? So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to build a scrapyard. So let's go ahead and do that. Go resources, scrapyard. Now then, we have many, many things. Oh my goodness, we have many things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a road. Let's get this road going on here. 
logistics, dirt road. We're going to count 15. Okay. And then we'll build a sideways road so that we know that that's after where we want to put the field. And build our scrapyard here, I think. Well, doesn't have to be there. Actually, what I do want to do is I want to build... I want to build a couple of things here. Let's look at... Ah, yes, and we can build a campfire. Campfire helps people be happy. So I want to build that maybe here-ish. No, that's in our field range. Oh, no. Let's see. That's... Two, three... That's four? Five? No, hold on. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh no, it's in the middle of the scrap stuff. Hmm. Oh, geez. I need to. <laughs> okay, we're going to hold off on this for now. Hold on, hold on. But we do have many buildings that we're going to get to the Forum, Pub, School, Cemetery, Medical Facility. All right, let's do something a little bit different then. Let's grab this food station. Now, a food station is kind of a neat thing that enables settlers to get food. Um, but I just want to place it so that we have it. Let's pause construction. We also have a market, trading post, decontamination post. Um, let's see. We need to instead, hold on, decorations will make our people happier. Wind chimes, hooray, flower beds. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, look at this. We can put our flower beds on this section here. Let's put them there. And then street lamp. Yeah, we can afford a street lamp. It's fine. There we go. Hey. That will uh, give our people a little bit of decoration in the world. Okay, back to scrapyard land. I was going to look at... We have several different um, things here. And I'm kind of looking at the sizes of the buildings. So I want to have the tailor's shop. Let's have them kind of this way, maybe. So tailor's shop. And then we want to have our workshop. We need a few of these things. So we'll put maybe like in groups of two. And then with roads in between. I think that might work. Let's look at recyclers. They're a little bit different in terms of the size of the building, but we'll see how many we can put here. Okay, that kind of works. Well, it does work actually. Uh, all right, and get roads going on here. Now we're gonna pause these buildings because we don't want, we don't need want them all at once here. Um, let's pause this, pause you, pause you. Pause you, pause you, and then let us get our scrapyard here. Now, scrapyard has a very big, big AOE. Let's get this here. And the other thing I want to do is put in a, let's see, I think it's logistics maybe, temporary storerooms, yes. They store different resources, cannot be used to house water. So I want to put this guy here, right in the thick of all of this uh, activity and let that get constructed so they don't have to walk all the way back to our camper van or our dilapidated bus, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's go. Let's start building all of these things. Oh, looks like we have a drought coming up. This is our uh, calendar kind of thing, our predictions. And that gets better over time. There's a thing called a weather station that will allow us to see what kind of contamination rain has, for example. Um, here we have no rain. And another thing is um, we can cover our cisterns and things like that so they don't get contaminated. Now this thing is going to need some charcoal and plastic, as you see. So we're going to have to find some of that, or well, make some of that, I should say. Not find it. It's a very strange idea. Okay, we need to get a forester working. And we're gonna change his zone of working. We're gonna have him work like here. And what the forester is going to do is he will replant the trees. So cut down and reforest. Uh, all right, so there we go. We have 12 people 
that are in our colony right now. Okay, the field is getting planted. This is kind of great. I like to have kind of large fields because uh, the farmer just has to plant it and then they have a bunch of downtime. So anyway, uh, that will get going. This is going to get constructed next, I think. So we just need some wood and scrap. We do have plenty of scrap, though. Is this our scrap thing? No, this is a wood thing. I think, I think we're actually good on wood for now. I don't know. Let's see. Let's look at our scrap collection one. Let's see. Tasks, gather scrap. Where did this one go? Oh, yes. It's over here. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. We need to get these big things out of here. So hopefully we can build the scrap thing soon and get that working. Now, one thing I haven't talked about yet is our colonists. Let me just go ahead and zoom in on one of these folks. Here we have Ruth. Uh, she's a young adult. She's her current profession. She's a settler. That's great. Um, and here are her things. Um, let's see. Does she have a home? Yes, she has a home. Um, she's using a metal tool. She has an activated carbon mask. She is educated. Uh, and they educated uh, peeps do their professions more effectively. And then she doesn't have a workplace. Well, she works here, but she doesn't gain any uh, professional points or whatever. Let's see if we have this guy. Ah, yes. So learned a lot from screwing up buildings. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so here we have a builder badge. And that means they do their job better. They have like more knowledge. They've, they've gained XP in doing their, their tasks. So, okay, as you see, this field is kind of done so farmer uh, has nothing to do so that farmer is going to go around and kind of haul stuff from here to there uh all right so what else do we have here we have children we have an increase in children which is kind of great uh that means more workers for our society yes um all right so this should be getting done let's go ahead and put this on fast mode there we go and we have tools but we're getting less and less of them Let's see, can I change this thing? Not yet. Okay, we need to uh, innate, We need to build the building before we can set a priority on what we want to do with it. Let's see. Come on, folks. Do the things. They, they are doing things. They are having many children. <laughs> Those are the things they're doing. Um, and also, uh, when we talk about uh, cabins and such, they, they need to have uh, two people to move in. Uh, and so that they can have three children. So it shows, yeah, we, we can see a few people. Capacity, far, oh gosh, I thought they were like the Grim Reaper here. Yeah, so that's a farmer. Uh, so our farmer Noah lives there. Oh, and farmer Noah is collecting the food. Look at this. Farmer Noah is having a good day. We kind of need the food. We're down to 300. Uh, and this is great. This is really nice that farmer Noah is providing us with stuff. Now each field does need a farmer. You have to assign it per field. Uh, so that's another reason why I like to have a semi big field like this that a person can take care of. But once we start getting more people, we can uh, build more fields and stuff like this. So anyway, we have our scrapyard. We need to hire somebody to work here. So that's going to let's actually let's get two people working here. And we're going to change this uh, AOE. I want to get at least the area for fields cleared. So let's go here for now. Now then, we can start to build. I want to build this temporary storeroom. That's kind of, well, actually, it takes an employee. So we're going to go ahead and build a recycler first. Let's go ahead and get you going. Build you next. And then that's going to be, let's see, do we have any protective clothing left? Almost none. So I want to get clothing done first. So let's build the tailor's shop as well. So we'll have one there. and then, Oh, that's builder workforce. Uh, we can't set the actual workforce just yet. Unless we go to this menu here. Uh, we need to go to refiners. Those are the people working at the recycling places. And then tailor. We'll have one here. Uh, the tool maker is the technician. But we're not actually doing this yet. Um, let's see. Ah, yes. Logisticians. That's going to be the person working at the food station, but we don't want to do that just yet. Okay. 
Here we go. What's going here? Interesting location. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. This is the forester's hut here. Now, one thing that I think that I... I don't know. Uh, one thing that's I don't like about the game, uh, or could be improved, I should say, is that a lot of the buildings, I get that it's like in far future, you know, radiation and everybody's building like these very beautifully constructed houses. I do like the way they look, but they look much the same. So I hope that I, I would love, love to see like different looks to the building. Some of them look very, um, like the hospital is very distinctive once we build that. But other ones, as you'll see, are kind of, kind of similar. It's hard to tell them apart. So I like to have very distinct districts for that purpose. Now, here we have our cistern. And I would like to build another cistern, I think, because we really could use it. We don't want to run out of water. So let's build another cistern here. There we go. Get that completed. Okay, so let's see. This we are waiting on some scrap, which we do have. We just need people to deliver it. Okay, so I, I guess we're done with wood gathering here. We'll just go ahead and... Yeah, we'll just leave it. It'll get deleted automatically. And scrapyard people are gathering all the things. Which is kind of great. I wonder if we have room for that other field now. Most, maybe? Maybe. Okay, let's try and build another field here. Because we... Actually, Farmer Noah's doing a good job. I don't know if... Oh, wow, 11 children. That's... Our, our people are <laughs> doing less of their jobs and staying more in their bedrooms, I think. <laughs> okay, let's get a cultivated field going on here and make it... Uh, almost. We need one thing. What is this? Is it? Is it just this? Can I cancel this? Yeah. Demolish. Go away. Go away. Shoo. Okay. Let's put this here. 15 by 15. Perfect. Yay. And then our people will clear all these pesky, pesky enemy trees from here. All right. Here we have our recycler. And as you can see, it starts off automatically being a particular type of uh, thing. And we do want it to take cloth right now because we want to get the tailor shop up and running. Uh, all right, and then... But I also want to get some plastic going on and charcoal. Charcoal is going to be really important so that we can filter our water. Because if we don't filter our water, then we have we have some major issues, actually. We have bad, bad issues. Okay, autosave. All right, let's build right now a charcoal kiln really really important we'll go ahead and put this maybe does fit there but i kind of want another cistern there so build it right mm. Arr, too much scrap no why why you gotta do this to me thing all right we know what we're just gonna measure then oh oh Oh, Ruth is unhappy with us. Yeah, we're going to do that. Thank you very much. Oh, and then we have a side task. I think it's just trying to help us to... Uh... Oh, hello. Greetings, my cat. There's our Emma again. Okay. Running for rubber bands. There you go. I love that my cat fetches... Yeah, she really is a cat. She's not a dog. She's, <laughs> She's a cat. <laughs> anyway, it's so funny that she does that. Anyway, let's choose a seed here, and we're going to choose our black salsify. Uh, instead and uh, so we can have a thing for that all right what else do we want to build here um, probably I'm gonna leave should I you know what I'm gonna add one farmer here to have to be on this field and let's get rid of that for now we are building the tailor's shop and hopefully we're gonna get some cloth made soon we do have a person working here okay all right, and as you can see, the other thing that we have here is we have animals. And these animals can be hunted and they can be caught to put in a pasture, which is nice. All right, Emma, you're going to have to wait. Oh, you're very excited. I know you are. Yes, you are my good cat. Okay, okay, okay. Pat the cat time, right? So uh, anyway, let's... Um, so we are still collecting water from the jetty. Let's look and see the radiation here. It looks okay. But it might be time to build a well, because a well is really, really much safer. Yes, Emma agrees with this. Here's my good cat. Okay, so let's get our well. 
Does it fit here? Eh, not quite. Oh, it does. It does. Hooray. We're going to go ahead and let's see. How do we want to add ah, fits? So I'm going to leave that one space because we had a space for decorations. Let's put that here and get that going. So this is going to be nice. Yes, we were going to wait. Now we can build water towers. Basically cisterns are water towers, but they can be upgraded. So I'll go ahead and put this here, but we're going to pause this because we can't actually build it yet. And this is for our road so we, that we can make that charcoal kiln. All right, let's take this road. Hello? Up. No. No. There we go. Nice take this up this way oh no this doesn't quite line up it's fine no nobody noticed it's great it will be fine um all right and now let's build our charcoal kiln there we go that can be like right here and the closer it is of course to the bus that's the closer it is to uh being having a place to be stored all right, are we building stuff here? Hello, Black Salsify. Oh, yes, who is our farmer? Our farmer is Noah. Oh, Noah. Hi, Noah. Wait, are you the same Noah as over here? Hello. Oh, <laughs> Emma's talking to us. How nice. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to get done, which is absolutely great. Now, we are still waiting on cloth, but it is being delivered as it's made. Um, these guys only have one person working here. So if we want more, we're going to have to build more recyclers. I think I'll go ahead and unpause this one so that we can get a second one built. Uh, but we do actually need to get this cistern built because I feel like we're, we have less water than we need. Uh, this one is full, but if we have a drought like tomorrow, uh, we, <laughs> we might have some slight problems. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so this is fine. That's fine. We have more and more people happening. So we might soon actually need uh, some other stuff. Okay, so Taylor's shop needs to be made. And okay, six cloth. That's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and speed up the game a tiny bit. Uh, but we also need the charcoal kiln in order to make those uh, masks, I believe. I think we do. Yeah, let's see what we need here. Oh, it's still building. Good, good. All right, settlers with no protective clothing. That's kind of bad. We need to get that fixed. Oh, and look, look what happened. We have no water. No water at all there. <gasps> no, and we didn't have a well person. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, well person is working at the well. Uh, and hopefully we can get some water from there. Yep. Yeah, we surely are. They are carrying this water. You can see them. They have like these lovely blue jugs going on here. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, oh, oh. One other thing that I noticed is in the options. There are many, many options. However, there's one tiny, tiny one missing. Um, we have all these things, as you can see. Audio, all the things and the stuffs. I could not find one to disable edge scrolling. And I hope that will be added in the future because I'm not a big fan of edge scrolling. Uh, like I have, um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I, especially if I, if I stream a game or something like that and I tab out or not tab out because this is borderless full screen. It's amazing, beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's, it can be kind of like, hmm, you know, it, you know, people see me like, look here, see, you see if I move to like click on OBS or something like that. Yeah. It moves and it and it breaks the illusion of the gaming and all the things so anyway drought is happening uh, but the red is almost gone so this is where you need to really watch your water supply and make sure that you have enough and we have oh our, our primary tank only went down so far to let's see it's going to maybe half by the time this drought is over so that's pretty good uh, but it was good to start a second cistern because as our population grows, we're going to need it. Also, when this is finished, when we get some plastic going on uh, from one of the other recyclers, we are going to um, we're going to use this irrigation plant and it's going to take water from the cisterns. So let's see. What have we got going on here? Taylor's shop is making right now. It's making neck scarf. 
uh, scarves. Those are the basic, basic protection clothing that we can make for our citizens. Wait, are those guinea pigs? Hello? There are... What are those? Those are rabbits. Those are so cute. Anyway, um, yeah, we're making neck scarves at the moment. Uh, but if we get some uh, coal, we can make activated carbon mask, which is the better protection for our peeps. So let's see. Have we gotten this going? Let's make this the next thing we build. And our people just need to provide us with the stuffs and the things. So anyway, I think we have an amazing colony going on here. So um, I think, though, it is time to end this video. I hope you've enjoyed this. We're going to continue this colony in the next one. And I hope you'll join me again for that. If you have any thoughts, of course, please leave a comment uh, in below the video. Because I love to hear what you say. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.